All right, well, I wanted to demonstrate the fret wire bender that I've been working on. Um, it's a half inch piece of aluminum with a slot milled. I'll show you more about that later. There's two stationary bearings down here with some aluminum. They're just regular flange bearings with some aluminum uh, tires, wheels, I don't know what you call them, but with some grooves in them so that on the fret wire you've got this tang down here. That's probably not going to focus. This tang here, see, it's sort of, it's hard to, impossible to see, but it's not just a round wire. There's this flange that's kind of ribbed. So that's got to ride somewhere. It rides inside of these grooves. So what I've done is I've made it so that there's two grooves on both wheels, but they're offset so that on these two wheels, they're aligned to allow for straightening. So if the wire goes in through, um, and the wheel, uh, this top wheel is the one that does all the work. There's a crank here that does all the turning. Um, and this wheel moves up and down to set the radius of the bend that you'll get. How wide your J shape or your C shape is, or how, how accentuated, because you kind of want to overbend it a little bit so that when you put it into the neck, the ends, the ends of it seat nicely. So I did it so that I had two grooves in each wheel so I could flatten or curl uh, two sets of wire at the same time. Since I only have three sets of fret wire right now, or three pieces of fret wire, I'm just going to do one at a time. But this should give me a radius uh, just right for my strat. And we'll get it started in the groove here. And we'll, uh, we'll see how well it does. Get it started. It's tough to start because the fret, the radius. There we go. Now we'll just start it. And it's pretty curled. And there we go. There's one. One piece all nicely, evenly bent to a pretty decent radius. That ought to work really well for my strat neck. I'll go get that. So now, when it goes down, you'll see that the, the neck oops, over here is just slightly flatter than the ra radius of the wire that was bent. This might actually be a little too tight for what I'm doing here. See that there? Yeah, that's a bit too tight. We're gonna we're gonna move things, and I'll show off the adjustment now, seeing as I needed that opportunity. And so we'll uh, I'm gonna put a handle on this side. For now it's just a wrench and I'm just going to loosen it here and then we're going to, using this thumb screw here, adjust our radius so that hopefully the next one we put through uh, will be shallower of a bend. And we'll uh, give it a go here. Oh yeah, much shallower. that to curl. Oh yeah, way shallower. This might actually be perfect. So now, we hold that up. That looks very close to about right. Let me get you in frame here. That's very close to correct. It might need just a smidge more uh, radius to it. Just a hair. I think I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit and run this piece through one more time. So the, the key is tighter means tightening, looser means loosening, which sounds obvious, but when you're sitting here trying to adjust things, it's not obvious. Your brain goes, ah, I think there should be more, and your brain is wrong. All right, so we'll run it through one more shot, and it should just start pretty easily this time because there's already a bend in it. This will tighten it up just a little. Yeah, see, we're closer to a circle now. But that ought to be about beautiful for this neck. Yes, that looks great. I'll let you see it here. So here, let's find our camera angle here. See how it just starts touching in here. See how there's just a little bit there. And there's a little bit of spring in the middle. So I'm going to run the other one through. And uh, call it 
These two pieces are my new strap neck preps. I'm going to try running it through on this groove and see if anything's different because I'm curious. Well, that's a bit tighter than this was. So that's good to know. It's a little bit tighter. So now, since this is the first time I've run this, now I know that the second radius is actually, or the second slot in this is actually a bit tighter because it's kind of dangling down a little bit. So that means I can pretty easily tighten up a pair of wires to match decently, reasonably well. Pretty close, not quite, but kind of close. Um, so that's, uh, that's the fret wire bender. Makes a loop. Okay, so you can see the back here. There's this slot and this uh, this little set screw here pulls the whole mechanism up. I'll pull this apart and show you. There's just a couple of bolts holding on these rollers. Um, I'm going to cut these off and then I'm going to put a knob on this so I can adjust it. And as you can see on this side, you've got the big roller with the crank. It's just a piece of steel with some. Uh, this is actually Delrin tubing. Well, it's actually it started out solid and I. Just drilled through and put it on there with a wrench with a, with a bolt, just a long quarter inch bolt. Not delicate, not elegant, but functional. Um, and there's a cap head screw here that holds it to the bearings that also holds it to this block, which I will show you next. Um, just a little standoff so that it can roll nice and smooth. And uh, that's that. Alright, so I've just pulled the nut and washer off of there and you can see the, the handy little set screw. Um, carrier, and I'm going to pull this apart here. Like so, and you'll see here is this brass block that's tapped there for the three eighths, and then there's this slot that this little T here runs in. That's pressed on, so it's like that is really pretty much that's never coming out of there unless I pull it out um, to uh, replace that little disc. I went around and around about how to get things to seat nicely into this, so uh, let me get a grip on it here, get things to seat nicely into this little slot here so that it would hold but yet allow it to spin. Um, there's a bit of backlash in there but it's holding up pretty well. I may improve the design a bit if it bothers me but I think what's going to happen is I'm going to find the one setting for most of the guitars that I build and uh, never touch it again, hopefully. Unless I overbend and have to straighten it out someday, which I hope doesn't ever have to really happen. But now, with this tight pretty well, you can come up here and pull this up, and that'll elevate the elevate the wheel back here so that it sets the right gap for the right size. Someday I might throw a pin or something in an indicator to show what radiuses I'm after, but for now it's going to be a try it and sneak up on it kind of thing. Um, and then I'll just tighten it down another inch and everything stays put right the way it should. Nice and snug. But there we are. Thanks for watching.